In judo, I have five seconds to make something happen, and he has five seconds to make sure nothing happens. I can even look at the ref and appeal to the ref. Ref, ref, nothing's happening. All right, mate. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let's let's I'm done. It's a completely different animal in the sense that it's often very difficult to make something happen yes. when the person is not engaging. In jujitsu, the longer I stay here, this is yeah. not an offensive position. Yeah. You're gonna do something. You're gonna pull me, break me down to a hip, start to expose stuff. You're gonna get your hand in and yeah. start working for strangles. Yeah. You're gonna get your legs in and start to look to get hooks inside. Yeah. So hanging out here is, is not really a winning thing. And One, two, three, four, five, mate. Right, because now he could just force this sort of stalemate. All right, guys, we're going to talk a little bit today about the difference between judo newaza and BJJ. Major difference is, of course, that in yeah. judo, when you're on the ground, you have a, such a limited amount of time to work. I think that's the number one factor because in jujitsu, again, when you're down on the ground, you have the entire time, whatever yeah. time is allotted to you, yes. to work from the ground. There's no requirement yeah. to stand back up. In judo, you only have a very limited amount of time, and that yeah. limited amount of time is gonna dictate choices in technique yeah. and tactic and strategy. So yeah. it starts with a very pragmatic problem, mm. problem difference, yeah. which is there's not that much time in judo, and it leads to all these other decisions. Mm. And, and then the other thing, of course, is that you have a pin yeah. in judo that ends the match. Right, right. So, like, I'll say, Comey, if you if you're incentivized in judo newaza mm. to get to a good position and then not leave that position, right? Like, if you get to a solid pin, you get to a dominant position, stay there because twenty seconds, twenty seconds, twenty yeah. seconds, twenty seconds, and the match is over. That yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, whereas, of course, in jujitsu, the pin is important. Yes, you can win off of a pin, yeah. but not in the same way. Yes, you know, you can win because in a in a tournament, maybe you get points. Yeah and you stay in that position, and if you're ahead and you hold the person down, well then, you've won. But yeah. jujitsu incentivizes the bottom person to get out, yeah. all right, which judo does too, mm -hmm. but over a longer, you have a much longer time to escape. Yes. So let's give an example, right? So like, if you're on the bottom here, let's yeah. say, it sounds like he misses the throw and he's in turtle position bay. All right, so boom, he's down here. In judo, I have five seconds to make something happen, and he has five seconds to make sure nothing happens. In jujitsu, though, if I throw in hooks, right, it's points, right, Sensei? How many right, points is in right, jujitsu? Right. Four points. In judo, no points for hooks at all. So Sensei Glick has to make this decision do I want to stay here for five seconds and stall, or am I going to try to retain guard, right? So, say, if you go to your back and stuff like this, go here and then engage here in more offensive position. But there's a good chance as you're going for that I might pass and pin the person. Right, because pins are real thing. If you are in the, the bottom turn position, right, there's no points in jiu jitsu yet. Right? Correct. So Correct. the more you stay here, the hooks go in, the more risk for the points. Yes, exactly. The longer the, in jiu jitsu, the longer I stay here, this is yeah. not an offensive position. Yeah. So the longer I stay here, the more likely it is that you're going to do something. You're going to pull me, break me down to a hip, start to expose stuff. You're going to get your hand in and yeah. start working for strangles. Yeah. You're going to get your legs in and start to look to get hooks inside. Yeah. So hanging out here is is not really a winning thing. And the other yeah. thing is that I've. If I do want to just kind of stay there, I got a pretty, like, depending on when this happens, yeah. I could have a long time to have to sit there. Yeah. You know, I could have two minutes or, you know, three minutes, and it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Um, so you definitely want to progress out of that position. Right. Yes. Quick question. Yes. If I'm here in Jits, right? Yeah. And then you go, let's just say you try to retain guard, and then you're turning into me. And then let's say I go into side control here. Is that point? Uh, yes. If you get past my legs, I, I think. Yes, because I think that you're able to get yeah. me down and pin me in a solid yeah. side control position, then you're going to yeah. get points for but the side this control. this is two points. This is two points, yep. As opposed to giving up four points. Correct. In judo, you could stay there for five, five seconds, mate. Right. Or risk this getting pinned and you're done. Yes, right. That's right. the end of it. Yeah. 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 So, so it, it, it definitely benefits the person to stall yes. in that position. Yes. From the top person's perspective, there's a real urgency if yeah. you get there. Like if you went for your throw and yeah. you landed here, then there's a real sense of urgency for me to make something happen. So I've got to really kind of aggressively punch my hands in if I want to strangle yeah. here or if I'm going to try to break you down, I really want to, yeah. you know, I want to be very, very assertive and very aggressive yeah. relatively quickly. Yeah. Um, whereas in, in jiu-jitsu, you do want to, I mean, there is a still sense of urgency, but the main urgency is that you're going to recover, yeah. not that the, you know, not that we're going to be stood back up, yes. uh, not, you know, not, yeah. or, or uh, you know, I'm going to be penalized or whatever it is. Yeah. If I go for tomonage and the person standing above me, oh no, I didn't get the tomonage, right? 
And then, can I engage in all this stuff jujitsu wise? Yes, I can, right? But there's a risk of getting pass and pinned. Right. It's a lot easier for me to stall by going here. Yeah. Right? Because right. now, right. for me to stay, keep a stalemate for five seconds here, one, two, three, four, five, I can even look at the ref and appeal to the ref. Ref, ref, nothing's happening. All right? Mate. All right. 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 I'm done. Yeah. So it doesn't make the judo guy better on the ground per se because they're playing this very specific rule set. So that's yeah. why you don't see that much open guard stuff. Yeah, you don't. Would you? Yeah, exactly. And because of the time, because mm -hmm. of the rules, judo practitioners in doing the waza don't have as much time to stretch out. Yeah. So you're not seeing techniques chained together yes. quite as much as you do in jujitsu, yes. where you might see a thread of four or five different moves yeah. put together on the ground. Yeah. In judo, it's maybe one or two. Yes. Because you just sure. don't have you just don't have time. No. Can you yeah. demonstrate what progression is? Can progression. Says he misses the throw, right? Let's say the countdown's gone. Five, four, three. There's a little bit of progression here. And okay. then the countdown starts again. Somewhat, right? Because I'm actively going for something. Right? Mm -hmm. And then he fights to his stomach. And then look, I feed this collar. And now it's like, all right, he's going for something, right? And I'm trying to finish the choke. He builds up, I grab a wrist here, right? And then I'm looking for, now it's gonna still start going. Especially if I go high here and if I look to attack an arm, they will let this time keep going, right? Because there's progression. But at any given time, like maybe he starts hugging this arm or something, like this, something like this, and then he makes a tight cinch. One, two, three, four, five, he's grabbing his collar here, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, mate. Right, because now he could just force this sort of stalemate, and they'll stand it back up. Right. Whereas if we're again, you know, if we're in a jujitsu context and we get here, the only thing that's going to stop this is either some sort of illegal situation that one of us does, yeah. or the time runs out, or we go off the mat. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so there's not going to be that five seconds. So that means that this kind of idea that I'm just going to kind of hold on as tight as I can, it's it, it doesn't serve quite as well. Yeah. You know, especially if it's a battle of you know, kind of strength here and you end up yeah. separating my hands, it's, I haven't, I haven't made yeah. any major uh, defensive. Cause you can just uh, hold uh, there for five right. seconds, no problem. Yeah. Five to 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Right, and especially if I'm just like pulling and you're holding right. like this. Okay, mate, yeah. right? Right. So I guess, I mean, theoretically, like you have to like try to transition to some kaku, shiro, or pen or whatever it is. But, but again, because you of know? the rules and because yeah. of how people, how the, the rules also dictate how people train. In Very a lot true. of cases, yeah, and so you don't end up with people training a lot of these chain, chained yeah. techniques and transitions. Yeah. Sometimes you do, yeah. and when you do, you see like really dynamic Nawaza yes. players. But generally yeah. speaking, you don't because most of the time is spent standing up, and yeah. so we're both incentivized to stand back up. And then there's also a gas tank element in the judo game, right? Definitely, you could stay yeah. there and try to fight it, but like now it's you got to rest, right? Truthfully, yeah, and you see people yeah. resting. Like the two of us kind yeah. of agree that we were just battling it out, battling it out, like everything as hard as we can, and then boom, we're both here. We're gonna hang out together yeah. for, yeah. you know. And my favorite way to rest is like, we're scrapping, scrapping. We almost throw something, he goes to his stomach, and then I just put my weight on him here, and I just try to like dig my hands in, and I'm just putting weight on him. So I'm taking this time, right? It's kind of uncomfortable, right, Sensei? It's uncomfortable. But yeah. I get 10 seconds of rest here, yeah. right? And then mate, and then I'm really slow to. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up like this. Yeah. Right, so that's the thing that yeah. happens. But yeah. I will tell you, the Judo Nawaza, the beauty of Judo Nawaza is in its transitions. It's fast, like Tachiwaza, boom! Right, we hit the ground, immediately looking for the collar choke, yeah. right? Yeah. Immediately looking for a diving on Juji. Yeah. In, and, and I'll say, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the other thing is I'll say defensively, yeah. you know, it's very difficult for a Jiu-Jitsu, someone who is in a Jiu-Jitsu mindset, someone who trains Jiu-Jitsu Nawaza, yeah. um, if you, go to do judo niwaza, yeah. you suddenly find that it's, it, I mean, it's a completely different animal in the sense yeah. that um, it's often very difficult to make something happen yes. when the person is not engaging. Yes. 100%. You know, it's one thing to get, because all of jujitsu, yep. it's like standing judo, same thing, but like a lot of jujitsu is built on reactions. Yeah. So, you know, like I, we, we did a video about this before, but you know, I'm going to fake this way, your legs come back towards me and now from here, but it's all that reaction. So if you never react yeah. and you just kind of lock everything down here where you're just, yeah, exactly. Now there, that's the reaction. That's the end of the chain. That is it. And, then, and so uh, now to get you over, it's very, very difficult. And I only have a certain amount of time to work. So it, it, it gets hard. And if you don't train that, 
And what you're used to is the person yeah. defending the arm lock so they can get up and get yeah. on top and get their points or get on top and reverse so that they can pass your guard. If that's how you're training with yeah. the expectation the person's gonna react a certain way and you don't get those reactions, it's exhausting and difficult. Definitely. Yeah. In judo, I always tell this about reactive transition to newaza and proactive transition mm -hmm. to newaza. And I think those two things are, you know, the masters, right? So like if I go tomonage, you transition, right? I'm forcing tomonage transition into counter choke, mm -hmm. right? Or reactively, like, I know you're going to go for ipan senagi. Mm -hmm. so as you're going ipan senagi, drop to the floor, right? Mm -hmm. I'm cutting this as soon as I right. can. So now it's a little bit more reactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I like the proactive ones because then like, you know, right versus right extreme. Mm -hmm. Then you go to so side but to the inside knee. Right. So not the relatively the throw. Mm -hmm. Just just to bring your knee down here. Right. So now I have arm and then choke and I could decide. You know? And then you see like some guys just diving over it and going juji here and things like this. Like those are amazing things that are you sure okay? Great. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the things that like, you see a lot, I think like Nawal's a specialist in judo. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I think, yeah, and what's significant about that yeah. is that you get knockdowns, yeah. but not scores. Yes. And in jujitsu, everything is a mm. knockdown, not a score. Yeah. You know, you get points for a takedown, yeah. but if you are a specialist at knocking the person down and yeah. getting them down to the ground, yeah. in jujitsu, that's where now the fight starts, so to yeah. speak. You know? And in judo, there are people who, who train that funnel. Yeah. And when they do, it's the attacks are you know come fast and furious. It's, it's yeah. really exciting to watch. So exciting. Yeah, and it goes the same way reverse too. Like I go into a jujitsu match, guy doesn't want to engage in any stand up. It's very difficult to throw someone that comes out and then does this. Right. You know how are you gonna throw that? Yeah. No. You know it's gonna be very difficult. You can't throw. Him. Can't throw him. He's already on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> how do you throw someone who's already down? Yeah. Can't do it. Even close guard too. You know, like one of my favorite things to do in close guard in judo is like. Oh shoot, I go for it to Monagi, right? Close guard. And then from here, just go in here and hug him like this. Yeah. All right, one, two, three. Sensei, can you make something happen? Can you submit me in five seconds here? It's very hard. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you got it. So that's why you see this a lot. All right. Look at the refs together at the same right, time. Like, right, ready? Right, Look at the refs. Right. right. Are you looking at the refs, Sensei? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Mate. All right, let's uh, get back up. Yeah. Roll the yeah. dice on our feet. Yeah. Yeah, the other thing, you know, I used to watch judo a lot and uh, you would see, sometimes you would see yeah. people getting thrown for pins, for Asai Komi. Yeah. And you're watching and the guy bridges a couple times and then he yeah. kind of gives up. Gives and up. I used to think to myself like, wow, like what? Yeah. I can't believe the guy's just giving up here. Yeah. But you don't really understand, I think from a jiu-jitsu perspective, you don't understand like the person on top is not trying to do anything mm. except to hold you down. Yep. One. Two, you're just doing... Like you're going a hundred percent for like a minute, a minute and a half. You've already fit, like you, oh, you got, got, came back up, bang, came back up. Yeah. And then finally the guy trips you, passes your guard, yeah. and then you're on your back. You give one good bridge. That's all you've got. That's it. And it's just, it's so devastating to be yeah. just held down there by yeah. somebody. It's, it's bad. And sometimes you just accept it. Like, oh, I'm getting pinned. I could fight for my life and try to get out. If I got up, I'm tired and this guy will probably bomb me. Yeah. Or I'll just accept it. <laughs> That's what you guys just tapping, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's a totally different thing. I think um, you do need to be in an environment. If you want to understand them both, you need to be in an environment where you're doing both. Yeah. Yeah. I love it in, uh, when I see a judo guy do jujitsu and the jiu-jitsu guy passes a guard and the guy goes, ah, and then they tap. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just sit there and look at each other. This happened to the other day in the right. training, yeah. in, in class. Yeah. And the guy, they just looked at each other like, what's going on? <laughs> what's happening here? They don't speak the same language. No, it's yeah. like, what's going on? Yeah. You know, or like when you're passing the guard and the guy just turns and gives up their back. Yeah. You know, it's legit. Yeah. 